Hi everyone. Today for our seventh art at home, we are going to be making marbled paper. I'm really excited about this project. It's a really fun one. You only need a few ingredients that everyone hopefully has at home. Some of them we used on previous projects. So it'll be really fun. It is a little bit of a messier project it can be. So make sure that you really have your work surface protected and that you're ready to make a mess. The materials we're gonna need for this project are some paper. You're gonna need a tray or a pan of some sort. I'm using the kind of tray you would use to bake cookies on. You're gonna need something that's kind of sharp. So I'm using chopsticks. You can use a toothpick. You can use a paintbrush. Anything like that will work perfectly. You're gonna need a ruler some food coloring or some paint and some shaving cream. I also have my work surface laid out so I have three placemats so that I can make a mess and it'll be an easy cleanup because this is going to be one of our messier art at home projects. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to take your shaving cream and you are going to spray it Make sure you shake it first and then spray it in your pan and you're going to want to fill up most of the pan with shaving cream. At least enough so that when you put a piece of paper down, the whole paper is covered with shaving cream. And we're going to kind of smooth this out so it doesn't need to be perfect right off the bat. So that's good with that. I'm going to take the ruler and I'm gonna use the ruler to kind of spread the shaving cream out so that it is a little bit more flat and a little bit neater looking. So we have that kind of nice and flat. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna leave the ruler there cause we'll use it later. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I have my food coloring right up there. And I'm gonna start by grabbing some of my food coloring and just putting little dots of different colors all around the shaving cream. I'm gonna use all my colors. It's up to you which colors you use. You don't need to use a ton of it. Just a few drops here and there should be good. So I have it nice and spread out. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my chopstick and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna swirl my colors around in my shaving cream. So you can make kind of whatever patterns you want. You can kind of go around like this. It's up to you how you spread these around. And it's up to you how much you spread it around. You don't want to go crazy because if you mix it up too much, the colors will all mix together and you won't have these nice colors, but you want to still make it mixed enough so that you like the pattern. So I think that's perfect. I'm going to put my chopstick down to the side. I don't need that right now. And then I'm going to get one of my pieces of paper and I'm just going to very lightly Put it right on top of my shaving cream and then i'm just going to very very lightly i'm going to press the paper down so that all of the sides of it all the parts of it have been totally covered and are have been pressed down into the shaving cream and into the food coloring once I feel like everything is pressed down, you can kind of see the spirals and all the different colors coming through onto the back of your paper, and that's what you want to see. Once you're done and you feel like you rubbed it down everywhere, you don't really want to push it down, you just want to rub it gently. Once you're done with that, you're going to pick a corner and you're going to carefully peel your paper off of the shaving cream. So since I don't have two hands, because I'm using one hand to hold the camera, I put the shaving cream bottle on one side of the paper. You guys can use a hand on that side to make sure the paper doesn't stick. 
the paper doesn't move. And then you're just gonna very lightly and carefully run the ruler all the way across your paper. So we can see I have a little clump of shaving cream there. So I'm just gonna change the angle of my ruler and just press down to make sure that all that shaving cream is gone. And you're gonna keep going across your paper until you don't see any more shaving cream there. And then you have a beautiful piece of marbled paper from the food coloring. I have the tray back on our work surface and we are gonna do another piece of paper. So you can, if you like the same pattern, you can get another print out of the same pattern because we can see there's still so much food coloring left on the tray. Or if you wanna add more colors and change your design around, you can do that too. You can take your same chopstick, make sure you wipe it off a little bit so that all that, all those colors don't go back in. And you can kind of go back in and change your design around. Make some more spirals. And then you can go back in with a different piece of paper and do the same thing you did before. So you're just gonna press it down and then very lightly you're gonna rub all over the paper until you can start to see the, the design come through onto the back of the paper. So we're just gonna make sure we got the whole paper gently rubbed. All right, that feels good. We can see our pattern coming through. And then I'm just gonna take that one corner and very gently lift off my paper. Beautiful. And then with this one, I'm just gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna go back and I'm going to very carefully scrape it with my ruler to make sure that all these bits of shaving cream come off my paper. Another very cool thing that you can do with this project is you can go back over your paper that you've already put marbling on and do another layer of paper, another layer of marbling onto that paper. So I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna grab the first piece of paper that we did. So this is the first one that I did and I'm gonna go back in and lay this right down on top. So we can see we already have some patterns from the first time on this paper but I'm gonna press it down gently and rub it in to make sure that I'm getting all the food coloring that's down on the paper right now. And so again, you can see some of the other patterns kind of coming through in different places. So once I feel like I have that all rubbed in, I'll peel it up very gently and then we have two patterns going on at the same time in this in this piece of paper. So yet again with this one you're going to want to make sure you scrape it with the ruler and as you can see my ruler is getting pretty covered in shaving cream and a lot of food coloring too. So if your ruler gets to be really covered in all this kind of stuff you can go to the sink and wash it off or you can have a paper towel or a cloth by your workstation to wipe off your ruler as you go. So you can keep going with this same bit of shaving cream for a long time. If you want, you can kind of scrape off a big chunk of the, of the um, food coloring and kind of try to get to a spot where you're working with some whiter shaving cream so you can add more colors to it. You can also, if you want, put new shaving cream down and then when you're all finished with this, everything that you used, so the pan, the ruler, the chopsticks, anything else that you may have used can just get washed right in the sink. You can just put the shaving cream right down the drain, all the shaving cream that's on the ruler, all that stuff can just go right down the drain and then you're all cleaned up. You guys can start with one color of the food coloring and build up layers on your paper if you want. So like how we did two layers on that last piece of paper, you can do that. You can just do one go with each paper. You can make as many pieces of paper with this as you want. And even something like this, 
would make a cool print on a piece of paper too. So it doesn't just have to be that kind of marbled look. It can be something like this. You can get a paintbrush and kind of paint the food coloring into the shaving cream if you want. This is just a really fun way to make prints on paper. So this is a fun printmaking activity. I got excited about what that last print would have looked like. So I did a really quick print of that. And so you can see this when you, the food coloring is more kind of like a watercolor. And so you guys can take these and you can use them however you want. You can use them to make drawings on top of. You can kind of use the swirls as different parts of your drawing. This one might be cool to use as a background for an illustration. This could be a cliff and you could have people down here. This could be water down here. Whatever you guys can think of in your imagination to turn these into, that's up to you. You could cut these up and make origami paper out of them. That would be a cool thing to do. This project is really just about making white paper a little bit more interesting. So that's what we are learning how to do. And you're learning how to do a type of printmaking, which is pretty cool. One last thing I want to talk about is, can you see how the paper is starting to curl up at the edges a little bit? You can kind of really see it in this one. The edge is really curled up. After these dry, because they're a little bit wet from the food coloring and also from the shaving cream, so lay them flat out to dry. And then after they're totally dry, you might need to press them so you can get a heavy book or a puzzle or a computer or something like that, a laptop, and with a, another clean piece of paper on top or even with a, pa a paper bag on top, you put the paper bag on and then you put something heavy on top of there and that'll make it so that the pages go back down to being flat. So that might be something that you have to do once your paper's all dry and you're finished working on it. Please send me your pictures of this project. I hope you guys had fun doing it. I think it's a lot of fun. I can't wait to see all the amazing paper that you were able to make. And then if you make something out of the paper, send that to me too, because I really want to see what creative ideas you guys all have. I miss everyone, and I hope you're having a good time at home. I will see you again next week. Bye.